All right, welcome back to the shop. So in this video, I am going to install a window in this M1163. Uh, it showed up here with the window missing. It does have the rubber. It's not a big deal. You can get this rubber. You just have to do some measurements, you know, to get the right rubber. Um, to get the glass, um, I deal with this stuff with the heavy equipment, all, you know, quite a bit. In the past, all the older stuff always had flat glass like this. It's like a double layered safety glass. Um, most of the stuff nowadays is glue in, so I have to have the glass companies actually come out and do it because I hate doing that kind of glass. But these ones are simple. Um, I actually have this tool. I've had this tool for I don't know, 35 years or so. You can buy it from Caterpillar. Um, this is the Caterpillar part number right there, 5 Henry 4845. Um, I've had this thing forever. You can actually buy new ends for it. But I'll show you how to use this tool. This is the proper tool for it. Um, see, it's got this pointy end. And you've got this end here, which is the end that you use for installation. So I've got safety glass. Make sure you use safety glass. It's glued together, laminated. Um, it's made for windshield. It's made, you know, it's flat glass made for a vehicle. Um, you don't want something that's going to shatter. If, it, if a rock hits it, you're going to get little fragments in your eyes and whatever. You don't want single layer that it breaks. You're going to have a sharp shards that are going to stab you or cut your jugular. Uh, this stuff will stay together when it breaks because it's glued together. Um, I'm going to set the camera up on the tripod and I will show you guys how to install it. Uh, before you get started, you want to look in the track here that holds the glass and just make sure there's no debris in there. Uh, sometimes, you know, if the window was broken really bad, you can have chunks of glass in here or something like that. And then the outer um, channel here is the, the channel that goes around the steel up here around the frame. You just want to make sure that's clear and you want to make sure that this lock bead is open all the way around. When you're done, this lock bead will be closed, and that's what's going to secure the glass. So let me set up the tripod, and I'll install this glass for you guys. All right, so first thing, you just flip the windshield wiper out of the way. You want this, you want the lock bead part of the rubber on the outside. And I always put the seam at the bottom, that way you don't have to worry about water leakage in and running down your glass. Um, obviously these things aren't sealed really well from the rain, but you still don't want it, you know, unnecessarily have a leak there. Sometimes this rubber can get pretty hard, and in that case if it's too hard you might want to replace it because you could end up breaking, breaking the glass trying to get it in there. Um, also it won't let it... If it's nice and, you know, if the rubber's still soft, it helps keep, minimize the vibration on the glass too, which could, I suppose, have an effect on it. And if you need to, you can lubricate this when you put it on. I always try not to have to lubricate it on the steel part because I just, I'm happy that it stays in place without any problems. But we are going to lubricate the, the rubber before we put the glass in. Uh, I'm on, you know, on, the, on the, the channel that the glass goes into and then also on the, the lock bead. Make sure your corners, you know, are tucked in tight. You know, that's all in place. And usually, I have kind of marks there from it where it was before, so you can see that it's in place. And if it's too long, don't trim it off. You know, if it's the original one, and it's too long. Just that means it's not in all the way. And if it's not in all the way, your glass isn't going to fit properly. So this has a little bit of a, of a gap here, which is typical. I mean, it's just because they're not cut perfectly. Also, it's cold out right now. It's about. 50 degrees out and in the summer this is going to expand so this is probably going to be touching in the summer okay so that's in place so I just make sure this this lock bead is 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 not tucked in right now that it's out and then I'm going to use some Murphy's tire soap to lubricate it you could use anything you want you can use well not anything but uh, like hand cleaner like Gojo hand cleaner would work good um, you could use WD-40 if you want I don't like using stuff that's going to leave a mark on the paint, which WD-40 is not going to hurt the cark. Um, that's kind of actually what people spray on the cark to kind of revitalize it if it gets old and dried up looking. So just, you know, don't use something stupid to lubricate it. But I like a water-based stuff like a hand cleaner or the tire soap or something like that just because once you're done, you just wipe the thing on the rag and it's done. It dries off, you know, it dries up. So let me get some, some uh, lubricant for this and I'll be right back. All right, I've got my Murphy's soap. I just put it in this small tub just so I don't have to bring the five-gallon pail up with me every time. I'm going to go ahead and get, take the tape off. Uh, they've got some 
little pads on here because I actually bought like five, you know, I had five of these made. Um, so they had, them, they had them all kind of stacked in the cardboard and these little pads. So you want to clean all that stuff off. You want to make sure on the corners, uh, be careful because it is sharp from where they cut it. And you can see they, they sanded this one a little bit on the corners for me too, which, which is nice. Sometimes what they don't do that, depending on your uh, glass guy. And then when you're running it in, trying to get it into the, uh, the rubber, you can get little chips that come off. So, um, you know, you should probably wear safety glasses. You should probably wear gloves. I know they sell gloves for handling glass. Um, but uh, just be careful with it when you put it in. Don't blame me if you hurt yourself. So let me get this set back up. All right, so get some of the lubricant, whatever you're gonna use, and you just wanna kinda of smear it along this part of the surface here, just in the outer part that the glass is gonna go be locked. You just wanna smear it all over across the front here. Kinda of wanna get a little bit inside. You just wanna make it sit. When you go to put the glass in, it doesn't bind up, it doesn't drag. You want it to be able to slide in over the rubber and it kind of drop in. Because if it's too hard to get in and you have to force it in, you're going to break it. If the glass is cut too big, um, you can't force it in because you're going to break it. Um, what you have to do is take it back out and if, if you're able to, just get like a sander, like an electric sander or something like that. And you can use a sander on the edges of the glass to kind of sand it down and get rid of any lumps or kind of the areas where they got too fat in cutting it. They cut it too fat. So you just want plenty of this on here. The only time you ever want to be a liberal is when you're putting stuff on liberally, right? So we're going to put this on liberally, not conservatively, even though it hurts. All right, so we got that. Stuff off my hands. Close this up. I'm gonna get the glass. I'm gonna put the label for the safety glass on the outside, down in the bottom corner. I'm gonna set the glass in here. Try to get it in as much as I can without the tool at first. So I can take the pointy end of the tool. I have to be very careful with this. You just want to pull away from the glass. You don't want to try to push the glass with the tool. You can a little bit, but you have pressure with this hand. I'm pushing this way with this hand and just a slight pressure pushing in just to hold it in place and kind of help it find its spot. Right now I'm pushing the tool this way just to get the rubber away from the glass so that the glass can kind of fall into its spot. When you get to the corners, you got to be real careful. Put a little pressure on it. Just get that rubber up out of the way. Come back to this side. Keep this thing away from your face because if this thing slips out of here, you're going to stab yourself in the face with it. a little bit being careful I've broken a lot of glass over the years pushing too hard to try to get it in got some pressure on here it's just kind of see it's almost kind of pushing it all by itself now all right you can see here I've got the glass, I kind of the last part of it was up here and it kind of pushed in. It's all inside that track. We still have the lip right here, or the lock right here, I'm sorry. We look around and the glass is in its track all the way around. Let me set the camera back down. And that's when we use this part of the tool, this little curled part. What we want to do is you're going to use it and push, get the camera up close and show you how to start it in there. So it's curled like that. You wanna, this part here is gonna push the bead down. This little ball part on the end is gonna guide it. So, I wanna try to get that outer lip up over that. 
So it'll push that in. Once you get that started, you're gonna hold the tool and you're just gonna push. I gotta get in a better spot here, my legs. And you're gonna just run it across and it's gonna feed that lock to inside there. Come back across. You're only going to work one direction. You're just going to work from one end to the other. It's going to slip out a few times on you. That's okay. Just got to get it back in. The corners are probably the hardest because you kind of, if you get the wrong angle, it'll just kind of pop out. Get back down on the ground. to the end and just let it out. You can see how that bead is tucked in there. It's all the way around and that's it. The glass is in. So you can just get get your rag or towel or whatever you're using, you know, clean off all the excess and then you can clean your windshield however you need to clean it. This stuff here I'll clean it with a wet rag first and then I can get some uh, uh, some Windex or something like that and just clean it. But this stuff will actually dry up to a powder um, if I left it on here and it would come off real easy. So that's it. You just want to make sure it's in all the way. It's not going to pop out. And that's how you do it. So anyways, thanks for watching. I um, really appreciate you guys when you uh, hit the like button and when you hit when you subscribe. And please, please leave a comment. If you have any questions about this, just ask it in the comments and I'll be sure to answer it. And if you leave any comment at all, I'd really appreciate it. It helps me with YouTube. And anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.